Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell Max Pro Cloud how-to video series. In this video, we are going to cover how to create schedules in Max Pro Cloud. Schedules can be used for a variety of applications and can be applied to permission groups, devices, and rules. To add a new schedule, first go to MyMaxProCloud.com and log in to your Max Pro Cloud account. Once logged in, from the dashboard, select the menu icon in the upper left corner of the page and then select Customers. Once this page loads, it will show a list of all existing customers down the left side. If there are none, then this will be empty and a customer must be added first. Select the desired customer on the left and then select the View Overview link at the top of that page. Once it loads, select the Schedules and Holidays tab on the left. There will be two schedules created by default. These are Never On and Always On, and they cannot be edited or deleted. Select the Add icon at the top to open the New Schedule section. Enter a name for the schedule. This should be simple and reflect the general purpose of the schedule, such as Employee Schedule or Front Door Schedule. Select the sites on which the schedule will be applied. Selecting a site does not assign the schedule to anything specific in that site. It only enables the schedule to be used by a device on that site, and that function is assigned within the site itself, which will be covered more in a later video. At the bottom are the schedule settings, and this is where you set the actual times and days that define the schedule. Position the mouse over the time you wish to start the schedule and on the same row as the desired day, then click and drag to the right, stopping at the time you wish to be the end time and release the button. This will create a block of time for that day and another window will appear allowing you to fine tune the time as well as copy these same settings to the other days of the week. To do so, select the desired days in the circle buttons at the bottom of the window. When all the desired days are selected, press OK and the window will close and the time will be copied to the selected days in the chart. Designating a time for the H1, H2, or H3 options means that the schedule will run during that time instead of the normal time if the date happens to be a designated holiday. Finish any other adjustments that are desired and then press Save to finish creation of the schedule. The new schedule will now appear in the list of schedules and can be applied to doors, permission groups, and rules. This concludes the steps to create schedules in MaxPro Cloud. Remember that the MaxPro Cloud Web Help Configuration Guide provides a wealth of information and additional step by step instructions. It can easily be accessed from any page in MaxPro Cloud by selecting the question mark icon in the upper right corner of the screen and selecting Help. The guide will launch in a separate window from which you may browse or search topics. Additional resources may also be found at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.